Hi everyone, my name's Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your ReadyMaster T8 Pro to use it as a controller for a flight simulator. So let's switch over to the radio. Now all we need to do to set up our ReadyMaster T8 Pro as a controller is hit the model button, go down to a split spare slot, so there, and push enter and then say create. Now we do, we don't need to pick a model, we can just hit return and come out. Now you can see our new model. Now you could then if you want to change that to controller or sim or whatever, let me just show you how to do that. We're going to go across, so you'll go into there and you'll edit the name. But for this video I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to do that. So there we go. Now what we can do is set up a reset button. This will make it far easier to use the flight simulator so we can every time we crash which you do a lot in, when you're a beginner and then you can quickly reset without going to your keyboard so let's take another look at the radio now the way we do that is we hit the model button and then we go across until we get to the mixes and we're going to go down to channel 5 push enter and there we can put in reset type in reset if we want to but um, for this video I'm not going to do that Right, in source, we're just going to push the button here and then we're going to flick the switch we want to use. Now I'm going to use SA, which is down here. Now we push enter, then we go down, and now we need to show which position that switch has got to be in to, to operate reset. So push the enter button again, and I'm going to do it with the switch forward. And then push enter, and then we now should be good to go. We should be able to use our controller in a flight simulator. Now all we need to do is plug our controller into our computer. And you can see the options there. We've either got, if we scroll down, we've got storage, USB storage, SD, or we've got USB joystick HD. Just push enter on that and we're now good to go. For this video, I'm going to use Curry Kitten's flight simulator, which is free. And I will leave a link in the description below so you can go and get it. Right, let's uh, take a look at it now. Now let's go to the radio joystick setup. You can see it's picked up the RadioMaster T8 joystick. And if we wiggle our sticks, now I'm, I fly mode one, so throttle, roll, yaw and pitch is all good. Now if we go to advanced setup, we can just check if the reset button is to see that it's on because because it, the Ox channels start from zero, so these are your four primary controls. So this should be our reset button. There you go, that is working. So let's go back and go back again and let's see if it's working. Okay, it looks good to me. Okay. Okay, I don't have a very fast computer, so but you can see the controller's working fine. I've turned the volume down so it doesn't blast us out. And there we go, so it's working fine. And as I think this radio would be aimed at beginners, I think, you know, they would be using it for simulators. So it'd be a good little radio for doing this. Whoops. Ooh. Oh. Oh dear. Whoops. Okay. Let's get back under control. Let's dump it on the top of the building. And there we go. I just realized that the reset button actually isn't working properly. So I want to go back into the joystick and the advanced setup. Go to the calibration of the reset here. And calibrate. So we're going to say it doesn't have a center point. Start calibration. So we click and we max point now. Okay, we're going to close. There we go, that's better. So let's go back to the sim. 
there we go we can reset I just wanted to show you that I realized that the switch wasn't operating properly let's just test again Allows me to do this but there we go I hope you found this video useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you thanks for watching happy flying bye for now